Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? Well, she's an angel. She's held me down like, like, a, like a Coretta. Oh, hell no. Did he bring up that Coretta shit again? Yo, this dude is weird. This dude is super, did he say Coretta again? Like, like Michelle Obama? Yo, send this man to jail for corniness. <laughs> Apparently, Jonathan Majors did some kind of interview. Uh, I haven't watched it, but some people recommend checking it out. So mm. I told you, time isn't what you think. Less than a year ago, the name Jonathan Majors was followed by talk of critical and box office success, skyrocketing fame, even Oscar buzz. I'm coming for everything. But this morning, a different conversation surrounds that marquee name. It's something about sitting here right now and, and, and looking at you and understanding the gravity of the situation. Um, a situation that I, in many ways, you know, put myself in. The actor spoke exclusively with ABC News for the first time after being convicted in late December for harassment and misdemeanor reckless assault in the third degree, which could carry a penalty of up to a year behind bars. Why did you decide you wanted to talk now? I felt like it was time. Um, a lot has happened <laughs> um, in my personal life, in my career, um, in the culture. It's about responsibility and coming forward and being brave and, and giving my, my part of the story. Your reaction to that verdict? Shock. Mm. I, was, uh, I was absolutely shocked and um, afraid. And I'm standing there. And the verdict comes down. I say, how, 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 is, how is that possible? Based off the evidence, based off the prosecution's evidence, let alone our evidence, how is that possible? But after only hours of deliberation, a jury of his peers agreed with prosecutors that he did physically injure his then girlfriend, Grace Jabari, in an incident last March. What happened exactly? Do you know? No, I don't know. Um, I know that part. Oh. He I thought you were talking about the dispatcher's Jamaican accent. What happened, son? What happened, star? Uh, nothing. I know she's un unconscious. Unconscious? Seen? The girl not breathing? No, she breathing. Okay. Okay, boy. You know what? <laughs> Listen to me. What are you going to do? You're done. You're done, so. You hear? Police are come. They're going to cuff you up. You're done. What happened exactly? Do you know? <laughs> you hear me? Yo, what happened exactly? You know? <laughs> You hear it? You heard it, right? My ear didn't deceive me. Okay, I'm just glad. It is a Caribbean accent. Yeah. What happened here, you know? No, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, she's unconscious. That 911 call from Majors came hours after an argument broke out with Jabari in the back seat of an SUV. When Majors received a text from another woman saying, Oh, how I wish to be kissing you. Jabari testified that when she grabbed the phone, Majors tried to get it back, fracturing her finger and giving her a cut behind her ear. She says inside the car, you hit her in the face, yeah. twist her arm behind her back, fracture her middle finger. Yeah, that did not happen. How did those injuries come about? I, I wish to God I knew. That would give clarity. That would give me some type of peace about it. But you're confident you didn't cause I have no them. question. Surveillance video shows Majors getting out of the car, followed by Jabari, whom he then puts back inside the vehicle. What happens next is what the defense remains focused on. Majors runs off and Jabari chases after him. If you watch those videos, and you reverse that, and you saw a black man chasing a young white girl down the street, screaming and crying, that man is going to be shot and killed in the streets of New York City. Major's defense team shared these photos, which he says show the injuries he received that night, which were deemed inadmissible in court. How were you injured? My injuries were, um, I had a scratch on my hand, you know, from clawing for the phone, and I had a gash on my, uh, at the time I had a beard, under my beard I had essentially a fingernail scratch. It's interesting that he can admit that she injured him in that tussle, but he can't acknowledge that he would have injured her in that tussle. Ain't that interesting? He said it's physical enough for him to get hurt, but he's convinced that in him trying to grab the phone that she snatched, that there's no way he could have fractured her hand. You name? saw how easily he lifted her up like a rag doll and, the and chucked her in. And you clearly see her head banging on the top of the thing. You know when the cops go yeah. put yeah. their hand in? Yeah. Okay. Watch your head. Bang! Listen, when you grab someone and they're significantly like way less than you and you're just ragdolling them in, adrenaline's pumping, 
you might not even be re- re- recognizing the fact like, no, look, I'm not even trying to say that he's wrong for doing this. No. I already said before, someone takes your property, you can use force to get it back. Yep. That's not the defense he went with. He went with the defense, I didn't hurt her. So you're hearing it now. He went with the defense, it didn't happen. He, he didn't hurt her. That's what he's saying. He didn't hurt her. That's what he said right now. It's like, no, you did hurt her, but you did it in the process of getting your phone back, which is okay. He just didn't go with that defense. So me listening to him now, I understand why the jury went back there and then found him guilty of it. But I also understand the point that he's making where it's like, you don't see my injuries. You don't see the fact that I ran away from her. But I think that's on him for choosing the wrong form of defense. Yeah. If you want a self-defense claim, you have to claim self-defense. He didn't make that claim. That was just one of the weird things that happened with this case. But anyways, if you guys didn't watch it, you guys can go see our full video. The prosecution also played audio Jabari had recorded earlier in the relationship where Majors encouraged her to act more like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things. Not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. The woman that supports me needs to be a great woman. There are some who question, especially in the black community, as you're probably well aware, that, that people were saying, well, why was he telling this woman to be like Coretta Scott King and, and Michelle Obama? It was me trying to give an analogy of, of what it is I'm aspiring to be. You know, these great men, Martin and President Obama, um, and trying to give a reference point to that. One of the things I also say is like, I need her, in that case, Grace, to make the same sacrifices that I am making. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That statement didn't come out good. <laughs> it looked terrible. You know what also looked terrible? Uh, the text messages between the two of them or the emails that the, his lawyer released. Okay, I'm going to read these texts. Go ahead. I fear this, this is what he's saying to her. I fear you have no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital, Majors wrote. They will ask you questions that I don't think you actually, and I don't think you actually protect us. It could lead to an investigation, even if you do lie and they suspect something. Then Jabari, the girl, responds, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I want to tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? Hey, you released this shit, man. You thought this vindicated you? Hey, yo, my man. And made him look guilty, and it was his own lawyers who released it. And I'm like, bro, I actually thought he was innocent at first. Then I saw those emails, and I went, how did you hire lawyers who, who, who released those emails? That blew my mind when I saw that shit come out publicly. So, all in all, I stand by what I said, and now hearing and him now, the, I stand by it even more. He hired the wrong defense, or he didn't listen to their counsel and did whatever the fuck he wanted. Either way, this is incompetence, not a miscarriage of justice. That's so crazy. After this shit broke, apparently a bunch of people who'd known him for years said this dude has a history of doing weird shit to people since, like, his university days. So a bunch of people who knew him from back then just flooded Twitter and be like, oh, this piece of shit. It seems all the stuff online is mostly about the physical stuff mm. and the actual harassment claims. They don't really detail it. Okay. In a statement to ABC News, an attorney for Jabari said in part, it is not at all surprising that Mr. Majors continues to take no accountability for his actions, adding the timing of these new statements demonstrates a clear lack of remorse for his actions. Do you feel you're not responsible for her injuries at all? I shouldn't have been in the car. That's not what she asked, nigga. Hold on, let me sorry, I'm sorry, let me I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stepped out of the relationship. I shouldn't have been in the relationship. If I'm not in the car, none of this is happening. If I leave the relationship, none of this is happening. If I'm man enough or brave enough to say I want to see somebody else or I'm, I'm done now, I'm not in that car. We're not here. I'm responsible for those things. Do you feel you're not responsible for her injuries at all? I shouldn't have been in the car. That's not what she is, nigga! <laughs> Can I react? <laughs> Thank you. And you guys want to know why this guy's guilty? Because of this stuff. Because of this answer. Yeah. Uh, what is my man doing? This does Yo. not sound like an innocent person whatsoever. My if God. I didn't hit you, and I know I didn't hit you, I'm repeating it a thousand times. I never hit you. I never touched her. And I'd be getting fucking angry about it because I know I didn't do that shit. Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? She's an angel. She's held me down like, 
Michael, 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 Michael Coretta. Oh, hell no. Did he bring up that Coretta shit again? Yo, this dude is weird. This dude is super... Did he say Coretta again? Like, like Michelle Obama? Yo, send this man to jail for corniness. <laughs> but I think... <laughs> which, 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 okay, so let me, let's roll back on something that you said. You said that, yo, this girl coming back so quick in the relationship right after is weird. Yeah, it is. I, I, you're right. It yo, is yo, weird. She, yo, and she, she kept a seat for me at the front like my Rosa Parks. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you need to stop mentioning our civil rights leaders. You don't want you don't want to have you don't want to have a Rosa Park by your side. <laughs> you don't want to find your Coretta. Huh? You don't want to get your Rita Marley? Yeah, yeah. Telassi. <laughs> You know what? You know, the Rastafari. No, you don't want none of that. Listen, this no? is, this, you don't want to find your Queen Sheba. However you feel about this case, y'all can't deny this dude is extremely weird. You know, I'm so blessed to have her. You know, the relationship is still fresh, but you know, I think I, I found her. The March 2023 incident thrust Major's dating history into the forefront. A Rolling Stone article back in June detailed multiple allegations of abusive behavior dating back to Major's relationships in college, allegations Major's vehemently denies. His attorneys offered past partners to defend him. Have you ever had issues with domestic abuse? I've, I've witnessed it, um, but never participated, you know. Oh, my God. Oh my God. This dude, stop doing interviews. Stop talking about these topics. Stay away from cameras. Every time you talk, you just look guilty. I didn't think anything about this past stuff. Now that you're talking about it, you just sound off. Something about this guy is just off. Am I crazy? Uh, I, I never participated, but I did witness it. Um, uh, what kind of response is that? Don't you think there's some hints of Juicy Smollier in there? You know what I mean? And that, and that, like, there's a bit of... It's just an act of I don't know. It's not act Anyways. I don't know. Hey, man, listen, stay away from cameras. You're not good. If, if it's not, if you're not acting... If you're not paid. Don't, 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 don't try to act as a real person, because you're not good at it. Just be an actor. Oh. And stay away from real life interviews. Jesus Christ, that's Because you are not good at being a real person. That's rough. You're not getting no Oscars. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> good Lord. That was brutal. Was it not bad? I, the, I was ready to have is, my mind swayed, and is, I'm like... It's is the Coretta stuff that's a bit rough. Is the Coretta... Why are you so upset? No, but it's also his answers to everything yeah. else. Did you harm her? I oh. shouldn't have been in the car. You know how we... You know how did we... You, did you, know, you harm anybody? You, is, is, did you harm anybody in college? Uh, I witnessed, witnessed it. it. What did you witness? You know what it sounds like? What? A politician. It's a PR team of a politician. That's we what it is. We know that motherfucker's a politician.